This is Mr. Greg, and I'm here to demonstrate shooting the Kentucky Long Rifle. This is the style of rifle that they would have had. Um, Daniel Boone, Lewis and Clark, they would have been using a rifle sort of like this when they were going into the frontier and the wilderness and the westward expansion of America. So I'm going to demonstrate how to shoot one of these. It's kind of a long process. They were a lot more proficient at it than I am, but here we go. So. This is a muzzle loading rifle. That means everything has to go down the end of the barrel. So first thing we're gonna do is we'll put the uh, black powder in. This, this is a possibles bag. This is what we keep our um, uh, ball starter and um, our ball for the rifle and that sort of thing. And then this is a powder horn. This is made out of a cow horn and it's hollowed out inside. They put a stopper and They'll put the black powder in this, okay? So, let me, uh, first thing we do is we're gonna need a powder measure. And sometimes a powder measure can be a brass one like this, or this is actually another powder measure, but it's for a different rifle. And so we'll measure out our black powder. All right, and we fill that up. Put our stopper back on. All right, now we have to pour this down the barrel. All right. Then we, all right. Then we have to, this, this is what um, comes out of the barrel and this is what they would use to hunt deer and um, other wild game while they were out in the wilderness. And this is just a patch. This goes between the um, round lead ball and the gunpowder, or the black powder, we should say. All right. And we try to get this centered on here the best we can. Now, we get this started. All right, then we have to have a bullet starter. All right, we get, we get the bullet started. All right, then we finish driving it down that far. Put that back in. All right, then we take our, we'll take our ramrod and we will finish pushing the ball all the way down. All right. We make sure it's seated good. All right. Then we return the ramrod. All right. Now, they would have used a flintlock rifle, which would have meant it had a piece of stone that made it spark. But this is a percussion rifle, so we put a percussion cap on it. And that will fit there. All right. Okay, now I'll demonstrate shooting it. And that's how we shoot the Kentucky Long Rifle.